Corey. What are you doing? What's going on? Not to us. Aurora. To you. What is this? You know what they say. Payback's a bitch. How is this possible? Why are none of the people the attacking The Saratura creates an impenetrable boundary. Before you rush headlong toward almost certain death, as your sire, I would like to invite you all to employ just a little bit of common sense. We are ancient vampires, Elijah. Each of us almost as strong as you. You might almost be almost. successful in subduing us. But at what price? Stand down. You will not abandon me. Don't fuck with the Michaelsons. May the ghosts of our fallen keep you company. Aya. Aya! Aya! Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Now, can we kill Aurora? Do not mistake me helping your family with forgiveness for what you tried to do. My no choice in this is the only thing I have left, and no one is taking that away from me. You need to get that. Camille, I'm begging you. Don't leave me. I won't let her die. If you care for her, you will let her choose. I will not lose her because of your stupid principles. Allow her the dignity of this choice, Niklaus. You force her, you lose her forever. So this is to be my end. No, no. Yep, lose her. And this is the very beginning. You are going to the bottom of the ocean where you will drown in darkness again and again. Ah, and again, like what Stefan dealt with. course of centuries. This will be your splendidly horrific and perpetual end. You took a very good man from this world. Maybe you will be with me forever. But you... You will be forgotten. And as you rot in the ocean, remember my face. Because it's going to be the last one that you ever see. Don't fuck with the Marcosons. As crazy as this world is, with Monsters and the lunatics running around. It's still a better place with you in it. <laughs> kind of weird that he's like did something almost today. opting for that. I risked my life fighting one of those monsters. It felt good. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> it's amazing what happens when you stop fighting what you are. Just a sure mistake. about this? Not in the slightest. <laughs> well, not what I was expecting. How can Aurora be gone? 
Oh, apologies. I left your lunatic ex unattended. See, I was busy casting the spell that saved the day. The effort left me a little taxed. She was drugged to a stupor and confined by your spell. Well, she couldn't have broke free of my barrier on her own. Either she was aided by a witch or someone who has access to dark objects. Lucian. He's the only one left who would risk his life for Aurora. Ah, oh, wonderful. Am I a terrible person for thinking, well, I guess Elijah can have them now? He's literally not even in, in the fucking ground yet, and I'm. Oh god, I'm awful! <laughs> oh god. What do you want for me? Camille. I hope you don't mind. I helped myself to the Michelson family blood stash. And how do you feel? to admit at first it felt strange that metallic taste but then it was like electricity coursing through my body a million stars exploding in my mind all at once like nothing I have ever felt before it was amazing and all I can think now I want to do it again. All okay. right. Well, that was season three, episode ten of the originals. That was a pretty good episode. I will say that was quite a solid episode. Uh, we got rid of Tristan. Thank fuck. No one likes you knock off fucking Ramsey Bolton. Still gonna deal with Aurora, which we gotta fucking murder the shit out of. Uh, and, um... Camille is a vampire now. I never, I don't know. I never even entertained the idea of her becoming a vampire. Like, with the Vampire Diaries, it was like, like, at the beginning of the show, you were always thinking, ooh, you know, maybe Elena will be a vampire at some point, and then, you know, she does. Um, but, with, like, the originals, you, it's, I don't know, Camille always seemed like she was always going to be a human. I never even ever thought that she would be a vampire. Um, she definitely got a bit of a different vibe going on I suppose at the end of the episode um I guess we'll see what this uh ends up doing for her character um if it brings out her darkest impulses or if she ends up being the same who knows oh. I mean, they always talk about how Elena changed when she became a vampire, which I don't really believe that much. Um, so, I mean, I expect there would be something. Um, yeah. I really liked this episode. And they killed Jackson. Um, I've not really liked Jackson really lately I mean the past episode or two has been okay with him like he he stopped being a sook I guess probably in time for his death uh but I just I don't know I always felt like he was very bland and yeah he was a good guy for Haley, and I'm like I won't lie like he was healthy for her I, I suppose uh but that's not always, that's not always a good story, you know? I 
I... He just seemed boring, and I still want Elijah, so... I don't know. And I can, and now, now, now it's a possibility again, I suppose. I'm so horrible. <laughs> what is wrong with me? He's literally just died this episode and I'm already talking about Haley moving on. Oh god. Tell me I'm a horrible person. Actually don't. Please don't tell me I'm a horrible person. I... Please don't yell at me for feeling this way. Um... I feel very sorry for Haley though. The torment that she just went through. That was pretty bad for her. Let's just hope that no one fishes him out of the, the water. Let's just hope that there's no Ketsia like lurking around the corner and being like, ooh, maybe. You look like my ex. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you out of the... Anyways. Um, so yeah, that was the originals. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.